don't like it when people are mean. What do you want to joke about? To your mom? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Uh, blonde, honesty or flattery? Honesty. Your forehead is bigger than my dream. That was... Gotcha. That was good. That was good. That was good. I do have a big forehead. Don't worry. My dreams are small. Even Those are the type of girls that you want to hang out with because they can take a joke and they can also give a joke. But one thing that you're going to learn about that type of woman is that she has a lot of masculine traits. She's really good in bed. She's probably going to drink beer. She's going to be the girl that you could just party with and the girls that you could just party with are not the girls that you can build for the long run. When you're building for the long run, girls cannot be just like men. Hey guys, I'm over here with my sugar. Baby, hey, what do you want me to buy you? Uh, second, okay, another dealer guy, maybe. Oh, okay, all right. Please. all right. Don't tell her that you want the same things that women want. Get you some rims, get you some jewelry, get you some sounds for your car, get you some man stuff because you are a king. Uh... This is the type of stuff that you guys have to have the confidence to do. The reason why I played this video today is because this is a couple, both of them were out of shape and they decided to get in shape and it's going to take a lot of hard work. If you guys are out of shape, find a woman who's out of shape too to be with so you guys can build something together by getting in shape. That's what it's going to take to maintain a relationship, whether you're in shape or not. Nigga, what? This is the first tape speech aimed at women. For women. Chicks, I'm gonna give you some advice. You wanna get the man of your dreams? Women have basically no idea what men find attractive. You all live in a dream world. Because if women knew what men wanted to see and hear, you could have any man you wanted. I see chicks out here going, I can't get a good man. Then you're a dumb. Because it ain't hard. Let's start with the basics. No matter where you've been, or whatever amazing things you've done, or what expensive cars you've been in, shut up. Because when you talk about those things, all you're really saying is, some other dude. Woo. He is absolutely right. When a woman goes to brag about her past experiences, all we think about is a whole nother guy. The more she travels, the more we think about another guy. The more experiences she has, the more we think another guy. Why? Because women are naturally not going to do this on their own and their friends are not going to naturally be available to do the things with them. So when women want to actually keep a man, don't get around a man trying to make it look like you have an exciting life and you don't. The more you try to make your life seem exciting, the more that man thinks you're for the streets. Can you name any rights men have today that women don't? Rights that men have that women do not know. No. I so then what laws are feminists fighting for? Shit, that's a good one. Shit, that's a good one. He's absolutely right. They're not really fighting for laws. What they're doing is they complaining and they're going to continue to complain over and over and over again to see what the world is going to give them for them complaining. You got to kind of like think about that girl that you know that can't afford the cable bill, that can't afford the water bill, that can't pay her phone bill. So what she does is she calls up the phone company and the cable company and she complains about the cable going out two weeks ago. She says the cable ain't working right. So she she starts to scream and shout on the phone until they give her a promise to pay or they deduct something from the bill to make it affordable. They do this with cable bills and they do this with phone bills. They continue to complain to see what they can get. And you'll also notice when you're in a relationship for a very long time, what confuses a man a lot is when his wife or his girlfriend starts to complain and nag and nag and nag and he doesn't know what's wrong with her. Well, she's just trying to get the world to react to something to get a different mood. That's a really good one. Oh man, I don't even know because like, you know, if women have been historically oppressed, where did the expression ladies first come from? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I don't know. If we live in such a That was one too. I never thought about that. We do have a phrase called women first. They used to say that back in the day when I was coming up. The millennials were used to it. Generation Z, I don't think you guys see that. Patriarchal society, where did all these laws come from that protect women and punish men? That's a good one too. That's a really good one too. Honestly, I feel like it would probably have boiled down from... If we lived in a matriarchal society that was run by women, what would the man's role become? Um, the hard workers, and we'd be the at home. Isn't that exactly what we have right now? 
Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so why would a why would a matriarchy be any better than a patriarchy if that's exactly what we have right now? See, when it's all said and done, most of the women out here, they do not know what they're complaining about. They're just bored with their lives. So they have to create these scenarios. They have to create these things so they feel like they're living a life. That's what I try to tell you guys. You have to have a purpose in a life that a woman can attach to. If you're just a basic guy, you're going to always have relationship problems because a woman's going to always be too moody around you without knowing what she wants. She needs to want what you want. If you don't know what you want out of life, then you're going to end up with a woman that's going to give you nothing but drama and complaints because that's all she has to do to create a new emotion. You have to understand, if they're sitting up watching reality shows all day and those girls are arguing and fighting about nothing and they're getting paid millions, then what do you expect the other girls sitting at home to think? Was that men and women are basically alike in terms of personality, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of leadership. But what it did find was that media depictions of men and women as fundamentally different perpetuate misconceptions, as does workplace violence. Oh God, so it's my f men and women are broadly similar with regards to aggression, although men tilt a little bit more towards aggression. About so that if you picked a random person out of the population, male and female, and you guessed that the male was more aggressive, you'd be right 60% of the time. But if you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize that? Just out of curiosity. What about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the, and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men. He's absolutely right. What women don't understand is you only want equality whenever it works in your favor. You want equality for office jobs. You want equality in relationships. You want equality over the little things. But when it comes to money, you want to be given money just for being a female and that's not how it works not many women are laying bricks not many are going to help go build a bridge you're going to have one or two women that show up on that site and even when they do show up on that site to work they're still doing the easiest jobs i always tell guys Think about the guys on the side of the roads that's patching up the roads. It's always got a little girl sitting there holding a the sign with the walkie-talkie because that's as far as she can go. But guess what? When you look at the guys that's laying down the asphalt, that's ironing it down, they actually got to sit there and deal with the heat, deal with their, their skin being bad. But the girls want equal pay just to say that they were there. Hey, so, here's the thing. Instagram. I think men and women are equal, though. Hell no. Well, you are right here, but I'm talking about where I keep. Uh, like, talking yes. about South America is different. That's why they should stay in those countries, man. They come here, they get brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> Feminism ruins all these women. You think men and women are equal, though? Hell no. Well, you are right here, but I'm. And I have to agree with him on that. A lot of women that are coming to these countries. Yes, they can be brainwashed, but you have to understand as well, there's a lot more opportunities for people here than it is in other countries. When Americans go to other countries, it's nice to sightsee, it's nice to get the experiences, but at the end of the day, you will be bored when you see how small these other cities are and how small these other countries are when you're there. You get bored extremely fast because they just don't have the opportunity as Americans. So what you have to understand is a lot of these girls are watching TV and they're saying, I want to go to that place that looks like it's really, really, really fun. So when they get here, they're trying to live out that lifestyle. It's the same thing when you have African people that look at the television and they say, look at the black people in America. Look at those slaves. They're living really good. But then when they come here, they realize this is different than the life that you think it is. You could do what you want to do. But finding happiness is going to be the hard part. You know, any celebrity that has a story that says, oh, anybody know an athlete that made it from the gutter like nothing and now they are super rich? Anybody familiar with that? Anybody know any celebrity that has a story that says, I started from the bottom, now I'm here? Yes? So that means right away that your environment and your conditions have nothing to do with anything. You are born looking like your parents. But when you die, you die looking like your decisions. And that's a, uh, I, <clears throat> and that's one of the ones I never heard before. But she's absolutely right. You're going to be born by your parents, but the decisions that you make will determine how fast you go out. 
A lot of people have to accept accountability to their own lives, but people don't know what to do with their own lives. Well, what they're doing is they're trying to find fault. They're trying to find somebody else to put it on. This is why you have so many woke people that like to go back to 1986, that like to go back to 1877, that like to go back to the 1500s, that like to go back 2000 years and try to talk about life. If you talk about stuff older than a year ago, I am not going to be around you because I'm trying to see what's happening in 2025 and later. Why? Because that's what you need to survive. Too many people are looking at their past and it's distorting them from their future. But guess what? That just means more money for me. Hasta la vista.